Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this session, we will start with the uh, Gmail Z Suite activities. So, as we discussed earlier, Z Suite activities in your path use these applications like AmpScript, Calendar, Ghost, Drive, Gmail, and Sheets. So, as a part of it, for Gmail, we have few more activities here inside this Gmail folder, as you can see on my screen. As change labels, get mail messages, and send mail messages. So this these activities we can also achieve with the help of uh, using the protocols like uh, IMAP or SMTP POP3, so which we have earlier seen. But the difference is, so it is very easier when compared to using protocols so where we need to configure the Gmail server and port number and all the details. So here we don't need to configure all the status. We just need to drop these activities into the suite application so, so that will take care of the connection between the iobat studio and the google server so let's begin the process so as we discussed earlier the suite application scope is the main part so just drag and drop into our design panel so here if you observe in this uh, properties of this so we can see fields like API key, client ID, client secret, and service account key. So these are the credentials we need to provide based on the selection. So as you can see the authentication type. So if you want to use the authentication with the help of API key, just you need to select this uh, API key. Or if you want to select, if you want to work with uh, smoke or client IDs, so we need to use the credentials of what the Client ID here as client ID and client secret, so which is the authentication. So as we have generated the client ID and client secret yesterday, so we will use the same here in the client ID field. So just keep the client ID in between the codes and as well as set the client secret as well. and here, if you can observe, so like this, we can select the API key or client IDs or client secret by selecting the authentication type or service key. Okay. So, another thing, important thing here is its configuration scopes. So, if you observe, it contains nothing here. So, once we drop the activities into this new block. So automatically it will show some list of items I will show you so in this video we will start with the email messages so which is helpful to fetch the emails from the user inbox so by default the search message field width is present with this line so which is nothing but the operators where we need to filter the email messages so if you observe here so let me copy it into a separate notepad. So here if you see the statement, it is like this from colon. So a at the rate b.co. This is useful if you want to filter or get the items from a particular center. Suppose if I have a center like uh, so Leo at the rate google.com. So if I want to of uh, that particular user, you just need to use that one, or if you want to get the mails based on some subject line, so you can use this one. So, or if you want to just fetch only the attachments or uh, mails which has attachments, you just need to mention it as a uh, as colon attachment. In the same way, if there is an attachment of a YouTube video or anything, so you just need to mention as colon YouTube video. Like that we need to mention so as of now we'll just find out emails with the help of the subject line so just i'm copying the equation here so let me open my mail as well so this is my gmail uh, inbox so inside the label, so I have some emails like this. 
So let's go back to this UI path. So here, in the input field, so we have called filters, max results, and the search expression. So max, max results is nothing but how many mails you want to get back from the email. So there's no, I will keep it like that. So if you want to filter against the labels, so as you can see, so I've opened the label. So as I want to get the emails from the Gmail account in the Leo, so I'm just mentioning the label. So from where I want to get my emails from the particular folder or a particular label. So if you don't want to get anything from the particular folder, you just ignore this one. You can delete this argument and it will fetch from the inbox whenever it, the condition is matched and this is not a mandatory field suppose if you are not using any kind of parameter here so it will automatically fetch them emails from the leo label so so let i am just removing this search messages and so here also i am just deleting the expression okay. so here once the emails are fetched it will be under a connection is nothing but an array of emails so if you observe this and if you hover over this one so we can see the results of research written as an array of elements so if you observe in the imap while reading the emails from the gmail it is a collection which is nothing but list of emails but here it is array of emails so we need to save it into a variable so i will use the name as emails if you observe in the variables panel, so if you observe in the variables, so it is showing as an array, Gmail array, which is under the scope. So to operate this array, so we need to use for each, for each activity. So just similar to what we did in the IMAP reading mail, mails activity, so we need to provide the mail object here nothing but the emails so as it is collection of emails we just need to change the properties of this uh, for each so in the type argument just search for the gmail messages or just search for as a gmail so here we can see as gmail message just click on it so now this will consider the object as a gmail and here the for each item let's create one more parameter okay. so this will iterate the element one by one until the array becomes null and now so with the help of this item mail, we can perform the operations on it. So for example, I will take one message box and if I want to just find out the subject line, so I will do this item mail dot, just if you give the dot, so we can see all the details, like if you want to fetch the attachments, you just need to Select this attachment, then it will be stored or it will be stored into a particular location or it will display. Or if you want to get the subject only, so just click on this uh, item mail or subject. So this will show you the subject line on the mailbox. So let's run this. So as I have selected, so I should be able to get the 10 first emails. Okay. So here is the application scope of this. Uh, Get mail active, get mail messages. So here the max possible is all set to 10. So I should be able to see the subject lines of first 10 mails, irrespective to whether it is a checked one or a read one or unread one. So let's run this now. So once you run this, normally a web page will open to authenticate user details.
Yeah. So here you can see a new web page is open for asking for designing. Let's just proceed with uh, this login or advance and uh, go to your path. So as the project we have provided as your path, which is trying to access or Gmail account. So just give the permissions to it. So you can see this uh, received verification code. So you may now close the window. So so here we can see my email. So the first mail is your path entry questions. So, okay. so the next one is got four thousand same subject line which we have here. So then I don't haven't seen by what up spawn. So and welcome to Academy IDU. So learning with so like that we got all the subject lines whatever we have in respect to whether it is a red email or Android email so sometimes what will happen is so system will get timeout as we have seen here in this GZ application scope we have the timeout in milliseconds so by default it will be in 60 seconds so now the internet connection is very nice so that's why it is not timed out i'm able to log in under 60 seconds and able to get the response from the api so that's why it is not showing any error so better while doing the practice you keep some time out or else you will get some error and coming to this configuration scope so initially it was not showing anything so now it is showing all these Scopes related to Gmail like uh, mail.gmail.com, gmail.modify, read only like this. So, automatically it will detect if you click on this auto detect and it will identify what type of activity we are using in the new block and it will automatically check this. So, okay. So, now we filtered with the help of uh, this. Uh, Table. So now what I will do is just I want to filter the uh, mails having the subject like this. So here what we need to do is just mention subject. So I want to read the subject of the emails which is having the title. So let's check now. So if you see my email, so I have this related postman here. Since I don't have anything, so that's where the execution is closed. So let me clear the label as well. So just go there and delete it. So now run this now. So in my, in my inbox, I have the mails with the subject line as postman. So now we can see uh, mail. This box is displayed with uh, the postman term. So the postman weekly submit. Okay. Click on OK. So so a lot of emails having uh, subject line as postman. So like this, this is one of the way we can filter the emails from our inbox. And another thing is, suppose if you want to just filter the emails based on the attachments, just select this and paste here. So this will filter the mails which is having the attachment. So uh, here I will place my table as Leo here. Okay. So now it will have the mails which are having the attachment. So in my mail I have only the one email with attachment which is nothing but your path a few questions. It has one attachment document. So now if I run this one so it will go to the Leo label and find out 
the main switch is having attachment and it will show me the spillane of it. Okay. So let's run this now. See, we got the message box as you have asked entry questions. So, first time it will ask to log in, and next time when you are working on this Gmail activities, it won't ask for the login. It will directly establish as the connection is already established, it won't ask you for again notification. Okay, we'll just click on OK. So, yeah, the execution is ended as I have only one mail with the attachment. So, just we got only one access box with uh, the subject line. So, like this, we can use this uh, skip mail messages activities to get the emails from the inbox or from the folders so based on the properties what we have here. And we can filter the emails based on message messages or based on these labels. And you can also change the maximum results, uh, the 10 or many. So, we based on our requirement or based on our interest we can get the next results okay. so like this we will uh, use this get mail messages activity that's all for now so if you like my video please do subscribe and like my channel and if you have any questions or if you want to give any feedback on the videos which i am doing so just provide your details or the comments in the comment section below thank you